the itch.io randomizer. So basically this is the itch.io app, which itch.io is, if you're not familiar, it's this um, really great indie game site that uh, just has really low um, amount of gatekeeping and just tons of indie games, all sorts of, you can kind of see in the background here, we've got Blue Revolver, we've got Sky Rogue, we've got a bunch of stuff that I've never heard of, but it's probably really good. Home Im Improvisation is there. Um, just kind of, you know, to give you a hint of what you can get from the randomizer. Uh, the Itch.io app, basically it's, it's Steam for Itch.io. Itch.io has DRM free for everything, right? Uh, but the app lets you have a bit more of a Steam-like experience. And the Itch.io randomizer, well, it just helps you find random stuff. Mismatch token. Good. Okay. So I can, I know it works in the browser. I've never actually used it in, in the app. Maybe it just doesn't work in the app. I don't know. I think I broke it, Parker. I know. I know. I just started the stream and I already broke it. It's okay, Parker. Um, why are you weird? Okay. There we go. Armored Freedom. Uh, that's a paid game. Let's go to next game. So it has this little interface here. You can be like, oh, did I, did you like this? Um, yes, Parker. Hello. Why are you so loud? Why are you loud today? Mew. All right. Legend of Selma. This I can do a review for. So Legend of Zelda is a dreamy little adventure game. Unveil the mysteries of ancient mansion and avoid all the monsters to survive. That sounds fun. So let's get started. Hey, Jaren and son. See, at the left here, there's this is the randomizer interface. You can kind of see the tags for it. You can say whether you liked it after you played it. Launch. Yes, hello. You can also choose only free games, only browser games. Okay. That might be a little bit loud. Okay, that's better. Better with headphones. Enter. Oh, these are some graphics. Oh, those are some graphics, too. Good stuff. All right. Legend of Selma. New game, load game, yes. This video game saves every time a yellow door is passed. Begin a new game or race your progress. Yes. I, I haven't started. This game really loves its wobbly effects. I would appreciate less wobbly effects. I am lost. Some high quality stuff we're starting with here. We got some spooky ghosts in the, in the thing. Hey, gam gamios? Gamios? Where is your bro? I don't know. Well, this is some good music. See, I'm gonna give- I'm gonna try to give every game maybe like five minutes. If there's something really good... If there's something really good, I might give it more. I just kind of want to give just- just enough of a little shake to see what- what things are about. Obviously, this is some extremely high quality gaming experience going on right now. How's my day been? I've been pretty good. Just been relaxing. The music is my favorite part of this one. Just, I love. Oh, dead. Oh no, all the way back here. How dare you? I love human noises. Human noises. I like it. We've got some beautiful mushrooms there. Is this, is this a secret? No. Okay. This is some high quality. I should start a timer. So I know roughly. Oh, whatever. I'll just play until I get tired of- okay. okay. I think that is- I think that's enough of that one. Beautiful human noises, but that was the legend of Selma. Marmoreal. Marmoreal. Top down fantasy shooter inspired by Hexen and Toho. That is, that is a hell of a combination. <laughs> Remade in Unity because I'm not good at programming. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> Remade in Unity because I'm not good in programming. This is, that's the best descriptive text I've ever heard. I love when people give little, um, yes, windowed display. No, why does window, that's not the, Unity never launches on the right freaking window, so there we go. Okay, who do we want to be, chat? 
We got Arcana, Elsa, Frank, <laughs> who has no neck. Uh, Dame Vania, Octavia, and Fiera. Who do you, who do you want, chat? Movement, attack, dash. Do I have... Attack? Oh, those are, I guess, mouse? Okay, I think I understand how this goes, sort of. No, You want no neck? I guess we might as well see how no neck man plays. Oh. Alright. It's inspired by Toho and frickin' Hexen. I don't... I'm not particularly seeing either of the inspirations, but... I mean, there's some castles and there's a low poly, so I guess that's kinda Hexen. What does my right click do? Oh, you got a spinny thingy. What is this? Oh. You can choose your attack method. They seem exactly the same, but you can... Wait, what's... Oh, that's your special attack. Okay, there's absolutely no sounds. Some of these might be unfinished, some of these might be demos. The, the randomizer, kind of... There's some options you can do with it. Just, just lots of skeletons. If you like skeletons, this is your game. Unless you don't like killing skeletons. If you enjoy killing skeletons, this is your game. Let me put it that way. I have no- I just noticed I have no elbows either. This guy has no joints of any variety. What a good human. Good regular human. Survival wave 3, one enemy's left. Are, are there bosses? Or, or is this just... I see. I give it at least one point for for remade in Unity because I'm bad at programming. Okay. There's lots of things happening now. Level up! Wait, what's H? Oh, we can upgrade our f ferocity? I, I have to be maximum fierce, okay. Traits are coming soon. I have no idea what ferocity does, but I have maximum of it. I have no idea. The, the, the ominous quietness is getting to me. Uh, let's just see what, we, what happens when we die. We were defeated. Okay. That's enough of that one. That's kind of a demo, I guess. It's got ghost armor. Yes. What is this? The masquer The Masquerade Killer. Kickstarter is now live. 11-7. I hate date formats. Is that like last month? What is it? So this is some sort of visual novel. I guess I guess we'll try it. This is a free demo of the game, full of the demos is expected to be released around February 2018. As a member of an underground organization that specializes in dirty work for whoever can afford it, Elviria has long been used to having to fulfill lots of odd tasks, illegal or not. Along the way, blah blah blah. Alright, so murder visual novel novel murder mystery something. Come on now, install. There's unfortunately going to be a lot of installing. You can set it to just only do browser games. I'm not sure if that would speed things up, but I'm not sure if we want to do that or not. I could if these end up being too slow. Why is this? Okay. I hope this one has music. It's weirding me out to not hear something while streaming. Come now. Hello, Mr. Starman. Ebullience Games. That's a name. Okay, good. It has music. Uh, sorry, the chat. There's no ghost armor humans in this. Everybody's got masks. They do not even obscure their faces, even slightly. But transitions. Oh, hey, it's got the skipped messages thing. I love when visual novels have that. Visual novels usually have really good um, text interfaces. I mean, they are text interfaces, so they should. Uh, no, I'm familiar with the controls, my friend. Look at this beautiful, look at this amazing mustache. Silence. The stunned silence in the room has dragged on for nearly a minute now, as the masquerades and his wife continue to stare at me with rounded eyes, disbelief written all over their faces. I tilt my head at them, waiting for one to speak, but my emotion causes the foreign choker necklace to scratch against my throat, no doubt irritating the red skin. My hand reaches up to my neck on its own accord. This is why I don't read visual novels. I'll be here all day. It takes a grand deal of restraint. Just restraint, oh my goodness. Okay. I don't think I can do visual novels today. There's too many words. Yes, of course. Wait, what? Okay. 
Let's just see if anybody dies in the first couple of minutes here. Rich lady is crying. Dramatic. Mr. Mustache Man is upset. I'll just narrate. Mr. Happy Bishonen Man is here to save the day. We're totally not going to date him or anything, Baka. He's winking at me. This is moving pretty quickly. Do you need the visual novel controls? I Sometimes they have stuff like, yeah, history, so you can scroll up. Like I was trying to say, I like the, um... I like how visual novels have, like, if you miss something, you can go back and see it. Um, sometimes they'll auto-skip. I don't know what he's doing there. He's, like, curtsying or something. Mr. Mustache Man does not like the Bishonen friend. He's not into it. He likes- he's more into Bara. He's- look at him, he's like, no. This will not do. This cutesy boy, throw him away. I need thick muscles here. Elveria's like, no, this is fine, actually. I am totally into this. Oops, I did the thing again. Okay, I can't do visual novels, sorry. <laughs> I need complete absurdity for- for visual novels to work out. I need some- or something like One Shot. I guess One Shot is technically a visual novel, right? But I don't know. Okay, I can't. We're not even meeting any more characters. I can't. I don't think I can do this. Oh, oh, we got we got a new Bishonen. Okay. We've got all of the hot boys. Okay. What is mustached uncle is not okay with this. Do VNs ever have voice acting? Yeah. Uh, usually costs a freaking lot. Um, but a lot of really higher production value ones will. Though oftentimes it'll only be in English. Or in Japanese, not in English. Pokemon. Oh yes. Okay, this is good. Pokemon. Experience of ra raising a rapidly growing child in this text-based game. Oh no. Will you encourage her to study? Will you let her play with her friends? Will you insist to do her chores? Find out in this emotional cliffhanger. We're gonna be... We're gonna be Poke Dad. Because the game told me to be Pokemon and I refuse. Congratulations! Today your first child, the sickly girl, was born. Easy birth and the child is curious. Now you've got this teeny tiny pink bundle. We're gonna... We're gonna sing. We're a sing dad. What? Your little girl's growing. Your infant is now a fully mobile child. Okay, so your our child is evolving. Uh, let her play with her friends. More coming soon. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> okay, we we won. What are you doing? Calm yourself. Parker's destroying my house, it's fine. Ooh, Venari! Ooh, I like the look of this one. How to play. Load. What do you mean? How do I play? Oh. Uh, discovered what happened to an old ruin and rumors of a large beast roaming the road. Created for LD32. Yeah, there's gonna be lots of game jam games. Um, you can explicitly exclude game jam games from the randomizer too if you want, though. In my opinion, they're some of the best games to do randomize, because, you know, a lot of them are like five minutes tops. Significantly changes collision, blah blah blah. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but let's do it. Okay. So we are white-haired lady, and we've gotta... We've gotta do the thing! Oh, I fell off the world. I probably need to go on the boat, don't I? Come here, boat. Boat. Boat, please. I need to discover what happened. Wait, what? What is this? I do not understand these controls at all. Is there controls? More information? No? I'm going to continue working on this. How do I close this? How did I open this? This menu is death. If you open this menu, you die. Uh, let's give that one more try. Excuse. Refresh? Okay. Oh no! No, go back to- okay. Good, it does keep like a history. How to play. WSD to move, left click to interact. Clicking the character opens your inventory. Sleeping in the bag changes the time and saves your game. Press space to cut and slice. Oh whoa, we can cut and slice? Why is there cut and slice controls? No, I can't leave yet. I feel something here. I feel a presence. I really do carry too many books with me on my travels, but sometimes they're necessary for research. There's a presence here. It's a triangle. I'm gonna cut the triangle. Why is there a presence? 
Am I supposed to do something about this presence? Oh! Oh, it was like an arrow. I see. What's this? No! How do I leave the inventory? How do I leave the inventory? This infernal inventory ru is ruining my life. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. There's a return button just out of view. Did you miss the look on the blonde kid's face? And that's not too cross-eyed. Uh, oh! Mystical ruins? What is this? Okay. Uh, now, it's just because, um, this is kind of like a tiny window view, like, Ichio's website's, like, not supposed to be like this. Like, they consider all of this wasted space here that's not usually here, plus this, the space of the app, plus this thing, which is also just only in the app, so. Can't really blame them for that. Can I get, cut some mushrooms? Give me some mushrooms, please. No? Huh. There's a presence here, though. We can't leave. I don't know why. There's Tharby presences here. Yeah, like this thing isn't supposed to overlap the game, obviously. I could have, oops. I could have downloaded it, but I figured it's a browser game. Might as well take advantage of that. Wait, where am I? Oh, no. It's a pendant or something. Give, I sense something strange from this talisman. Well, just get, get it. Oh, I, okay. We have the talisman. This talisman is of an unknown origin, but a strong pulsing energy comes off it in waves. It's likely related to the queezer that has been wandering near the village. A queezer is the physical manifestation of the unfinished business some ghosts have behind when they die. Usually they are small and hardly a threat, but particularly traumatic or mass deaths can lead to a powerful, dangerous queezer. If not taken care of, they can create rifts in the veil between living and dead. They are also dangerous creatures in their own right, but are limited to a small area of influence. Bound by their manner of creation. Can you hear the stuff, by the way? It's pretty quiet, but... Also, was chat kind of hard to read? I don't know if there's really a better place for chat, but... I think for later games, I'll just download if it's an option. So... What's that? It's a music tablet. Pretty badly burned, but still legible. Oh, if there's music puzzles, I'm done. I'm so done if no, no music puzzles. Unusual house oh wait, no, we saw that. Burned book. The book found in the wreckage of the village. Much of it is burned, but what is left indicates it was a novel. The spine reveals part of the title. The T C. What sort of novel would be about tea? Tucked inside the book is a letter. Must escape the flame that charred the book. Chief Lequet. I'm sorry, I must insist that we cancel tomorrow's festivities. This backward celebrations of gods is only keeping this village in the past. Going to university in the city made me realize how foolish all this is. How can we ever make progress and behold to these old traditions? And then they all died. Wait, what's this? I wonder how long these buildings have been abandoned like this. Or maybe they burned her at the stake for that. I don't... Hard to tell. I, I think these are trees. I was wondering what these things were. I think they're like birch trees, but like, the very slender trees. I like these like diamond trees. I want diamond trees. That's a good look. Mushrooms. Are we getting some Kermit in the chat here? Oh, come on, Tap Tap, you only have to 100% through the fire and flames on Expert. It's not that hard. Oh, we got another thing. How do I, how do I get there, though? This non-Euclidean space terrifies me. Oh, we just loop around here. Okay. Wait, what? I don't understand. Did I go this way or... No, there's a thing here. No, where's my... 
Oh, 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 okay. I don't know what that was. Love charm. A love charm given by young lovers when they will be apart for some time. The safe one for the duration of their time away, they will return to safely to their loved one. Excuse. Oh no, I'm stuck. Okay. So there's at least one more item left to get. I think there's another path here, right? Because it's just water. Oh, no, there's a path. Some more pretty diamond trees. These trees remind me of those things from Steven Universe, the whatever things. I don't I don't actually watch Steven Universe, but I know there's pointy vaguely female things. I don't know what they are. The gems, I think, is what they're called. I know there's one that looks like a nuclear Dorito, that's all I know. But I'd like to sleep, yes. Take a sleep. Ooh, pretty. Little fireflies. Um, we're missing at least one thing. Stone is no longer broken. Interesting. That's not creepy at all. It's definitely not creepy. Can you hear the faint water sounds? I'm hoping that... oh. Okay, next time we're definitely downloading the game so it displays a bit more properly. Oh! Good doggy! Hello, friends! Do not eat. Please do not eat. Oh goodness. We've got ghosts. Spooky ghosts. Oh, I'm over here. Hello, ghosts! How you doing? Having a party? The original version. It seems it was modified at some point. Perhaps that monster out there killed us. It's the only explanation. Why does this happen to us? I don't think we can leave. We're stuck here forever until the goddess smiles upon us. What do we have to lose at this point? Spooky. There's the moon over there to the left. Hello, Mr. Moon. So we're missing at least one thingy. I assume we can't confront the beast. Ye old beastie until we have all of the things. We need a flute. It's like Star Trek. We gotta get the flute. And then we'll... Oh. Hello, friend. This seems not smart, but hello. Hello, friend. You're just gonna have a sit? You're just gonna... I, I can't see. I think I just clicked on myself. You are extremely in the way. I can't see myself. Oh, hello. It's glowy claws. Is Twitch having issues? I can't see me sit. Oh. I dropped a couple frames here, so it might not actually be Twitch. I'm fine now, though. Spook shrooms? No? No? Okay. Hmm. I do have a cut action, but I assume that is not good to attempt to cut giant murder dog. Can I use my inventory, perhaps? Hmm. I don't know if I can actually use the items in my inventory. Here, no. The geometry of this place is mildly baffling. Oh, hello, doggy. Can I use my thing? Hello. <laughs> Dead. Do not, do not cut the doggo. Doggo kills. So I need one more unit of thing, I think. 
Anything in the spooky waterfall? No. I feel like I've been everywhere, but there's obviously something I've missed. What do I do? Spooky. Where is Flute? Does anybody know where Flute is? Wait, have I been up here? Seems spoopy. Uh, so just the frickin' circle with the shrooms. Mm. Where's the stupid flute? Oddly difficult to get around here sometimes. Nope. Oh, I just want the flute. Where is the flute? Don't tell me it like only appears at daytime. Oh! What is this? This seems important, yet I can't do anything. Wait, hold on. Is this an exit? No? Okay. I kind of wish you could see the exit markers, even if you're not all the way up to them. Sometimes it's hard to tell whether a thing is an exit or not. Why can't I stand on this? The height differences thing is kind of baffling at times. You gotta go down like a little baby step. It's weird. Hmm. Well, I really want to finish this, but I, I'm pretty stuck here. I think I'll go sleep and then if there's nothing, if there's not a flute at daytime, maybe you just have to get all of the things for nighttime. And maybe, maybe you have to get all the things in daytime and go kill the doggo at night. I don't know. Yes, sleep time. Wait, what? Why am I over here? Can't leave yet. Okay. So the path to the thing. So that's broken again. So we're, lo we're looking for that tree again. Chat is very quiet today. How is everybody doing? Fuck. Definitely not going to do the browser version unless it fits within the window next time. Um, I think it was up this way, right? No, I think I gotta go more north first. Unless, wait, is this the flute? Don't tell me this flute. I'd love to examine this flute, but I can't untie Oh, god! Oh! You were supposed to do this? Aw, oh, I feel stupid. Okay. We gotta play the flute for the big doggo. I, I understand completely now. You do not cut, doggo. You'd flute. It is just like that Star Trek episode. Well, kind of. It's the flute of memories of their peoples. Alright. Gotta take a nap. We gotta go find flute doggy. Let me play the song of my people. Alright, where's the doggo? Dog friend. It's rain! Doggo is kill. The rain washed him out of existence. Alright, where's the town? The town is fine now. And by fine, I mean, you know, dead. But it's supposed to be dead, so it's fine. So they changed your music or something? Now they're set free from the bonds of the Queezer. I hope they're at peace. Oh, I couldn't read that in time! Dog Growl by Mike Koenig. I love how they had to credit... They had a whole person just for the dog growl. I say we should go out there and take it on ourselves. You can still talk to the ghost people! The ghost people were not actually removed. Alright, that was Venari. That was neat.
Asteroids is a simple space game where you pilot a UFO through an asteroid belt. Oh no. Not available for Windows. What? What do you mean not available for Windows? First time participating in a game jam. How long can you last? I don't... Free I don't seem to be able to play this one. It's just asteroids anyway, so that's fine. So you're making another thumbnail message for the special three like I did for Spooky Stream. If you want to do whatever, I guess. Near death experience. That one's paid only. This looks... Eh. Eh, I guess it's not really total... Eh, whatever. I'm not really interested in... Definitely not a paid horror game. Olympic Dreams. Unity WebGL. Oh wow, WebGL actually works? Wait, no, that's WebGL. That's not um, the Unity plugin thing. Olympic Dreams for a spacebar. Q. Oh no, is this co-op? Esque? Oh no, it is! Oh, beautiful. Real human. Real human character models for real human video games. How do I restart? Okay. Majestic. This is like totally accurate battle simulator, but totally accurate Olympics simulator. Fault! Oh, but I freaking threw it for like 18,000 miles. Oh, come on. Why is there a man shoving his face directly into my anus? What is this? Is this a part of Olympic sports or Is that is that part can anyone confirm is this what Olympics are like? I haven't watched the Olympics in a while I like how there's an extreme left left turn bias Towards where I throw I want to stick it in the guy's face on my left here Fault off oh, screw you fault Oh screw your fault that was like No. There we go. Alright. That's my high score. Amazing. Plute. Wads. Okay. This looks like my kind of thing. This looks like some sort of walking in the rain simulator deal. Installing. Plute. Is that a word? I bet that's something. I bet that's French or something. Uh, fantastic graphics, yes, thank you. Middle screen. Made with Unity. I, I'm gonna bet that over 50% of what we see is Unity. Plute. Oh, it's French. I can even. I can already tell it's French. Look at that car. Look at this. Gentle rain. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with these frames? What are these frames? Whoa. Oh, perspective. Real human perspective. Oh, I'm, I'm here now. Okay. It's artistic. You don't understand. The Excuse? Okay, it's, it's okay. It's artistic. It's teleportation. Oh, no! There's a freaking nice little brutalist building there. I think every time I press... No? My mouse window. My mouse isn't locked into the window. My favorite Unity bug that they never fixed in like 18,000 years. Plute means it rains? Ah. So yeah. Accurate. Why am I teleporting? I just want to get to the top of the thing. I want to walk up the stairs, Plute. No! This is a pretty game, but the teleporting thing is infuriating. I think you just teleport around. It's like a walking simulator that does not actually allow you to walk. Oh, whoa! Are we- I think we just- I think this is missed. I'm 80% sure- NO! Just when I think something, like, just when I'm about to enjoy the local environment, I get teleported. Oh, it's like, it's, I think we're seeing like superimposed images of all the different areas we can teleport to in the background there. 
And that's what that is. Or like, it's all of the different areas we are at once. And there's the, there, there's the, oh, no. This gives me extreme mist vibes for some reason. I want to play mist. No! I just want to go down the stairs, please! All this is missing is the beer sound from mist. This is neat, but at the same time, completely infuriating. I just want to walk around. I don't want to do the teleport thing. I just want to see what's at the bottom of this thing, please. I've got a family. You can't do this to me. Aw. Okay, I think that's that's what there is to see. That's, like I said, neat, but also completely infuriating. Terrible maze game! Yes. Hell yes. We have to play a terrible maze game. Oh, unknown... <laughs> 4846 not a virus dot exe school project made in game maker studios made a game about two days this game was made about two days after i lost all the files and completed the game multiple times love seems safe show more details ah oh, whatever let's do this let's play this virus Please stand on the blue glitch tiles and press Z, that is all. That just happens, that happens with a lot of stuff. I'm not really too worried. Launch. Spawn Ikalx re returned code six. Never mind. we're not playing that. Whatever. That just usually happens. Um, what the hell is this? Twitch plays Lazarus. Is it code? Let's use the Twitch chat as an input device. Viewers can enter commands. Oh, wow. Run Lazarus server.exe. Emulate Twitch server. Okay. This sounds. This sounds like it's slightly too complicated for a random stream. <laughs> this Helix and Dome fossil, of course. When was this made? I have to know. Was this made? Oh. I think it's like a year after Twitch plays Pokemon. But, well, I'll take a look. I already installed it. Code execution. Freaking. Oh, no. Visual Studio. Why? I hate all of these 18 billion DLLs you need. Yeah. Okay. We can't play that. I'm, whatever. Into the Pit. Version with ongoing improvements. Get 3,000 monies to win. This seems extremely quality. Eventually is now. Bork, bork. Okay, I'm playing this just because of eventu eventually is now. Bork, bork. Works with an Xbox controller. Oh, I forgot. I have my controller here just in case any of these actually work with controller. Start game. Yes. Oh, quality. The, the finest qualities. Boat. What is this? I have gun. It's a real game. I have gun. Ammo 2. No. The, the little spike dudes. No, please. Okay, amazing, amazing game. Okay, next game. Destroy the Toys Kingdom of Colors. Oh, this is one of these. Can't play that one. Yeah, Unity web things don't work anymore. Behemoth, when you're ready, we'll begin. What is this? An orc undergoes a transformation. Navigate from one passage to another by clicking the purple hyperlinks. Some passages are special, so don't be surprised by a few strange things when you click. Oh, yes, nothing is broken. Give me the strange things. If you want to change things, you have to dream them first. What do you want to be? I want to be a chicken. I want to be huge. I want to be fast, magical, safe, inspired. None of these options are chicken. Um, what do you want? What do you want to be, chat? Do you want to be powerful, significant, handsome, safe, healed, inspired, loved? I just wanted to be a chicken, honestly. But there's no chicken option, so... I don't even, I don't, I don't, I guess being happy, I imagine chickens are happy, they, you know, they eat stupid bugs and they crap out eggs, so, no one in chat has said anything, so I'm just going to be happy. We can make you ecstatic, we can, I don't know whether it'd be ecstatic or ludicrous. Do you really want to be? Yes. Oh wait, we're back on a roar until the air cracks. <laughs> I want to. I want to live free of raw. I want to be swelling of raw force, manifestation of a constellation. I really just want to be a chicken. 
I want to call down the stars. I want to roar until the air cracks. That sounds like a good one. We will make you a channel for the cries beyond the thunderclouds. We will give you everything you want, with only the asking of it required. We will afford you a greater agency in this world so badly needs it. We will create with our love and with our will, with our machinery and with our hands. We're going with machinery. Visions in the dark of dangling wires tied in braids, plugging into new bioports brought forth from somewhere deep under the skin, engineered from a dream of lightning like water arcing across the sky, reflected in the sea of alternating slash direct currents pulling back and forth, back and forth on a rotational motor that pushes in and out and in and out of a motor. Is this, did, did, did that freaking guy with who loves mollusks write this? Um, <clears throat> Nasu, that's the one. Uh, located in the base of all things, surging up through the nerves, conducting lights across new installations of digital meridians that glow under skin. In the dark, like constellations in the sky that breathes in the dust and breathes out the light. Breathes in the dirt and breathes out the lightning of a nitrogen cycle that hardens the skin and tenses new tendons woven in oscillating cycles. And across and over and between the fingers of the surgeon's deaf hands, comma. That was one sentence. Hands that push down. Oh my goodness. This is the world's biggest sentence of all time. Uh, biological gravity that charts the meridians of bodies attracted to one another like the stars. I think they actually had to like make a link because that was too many words for one page in Twine or something. Uh, left dangling over the skin, teasing the nerves that weave, weave into tense braids that oscillate with lightning as nitrogen-hardened fingers press against the basest bioports and cycle in and out, in and out like the sea. A deep biological motor brought forth from the installations of dust engineered by lightning across the sky, lighting the sky with visions. Someone was extremely proud of that. Someone was very proud of, I can't read that. Um, I'm good. He pulls back, let's lose a roar, blah, 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 awakening. Where's the strange things? Is that me? Behemoth. We are become behemoth. Project behemoth. Under dream phase alpha, s subject fixations, solemnist analysis, yes, except. Why is, the, why is the background white? Okay, this is too much text for today. Okay, we're back to black. We're back in black. All right, I'm back. And I'm ready. My body is ready. Prepare your bodies, chat. There's no light here, but I can make an image of my body in my mind's eye. Any rough edges where I forgot myself, I can smooth over by simply passing my hands across my skin. My body's already warm, but wherever I touch it, it feels my, like my palms are warmer. I rub my hands across my chest and bump up another against another set of hands I hadn't noticed already holding me. They lift me up and press themselves against my own hands. A warmth and tenderness I can't help but cleave to. Our fingers braid together, four hands clasped across my heart. I'm not sure how many twine games I have in me, but all. Some tendons, shared flesh. It's one of the scientists, of course, but I'm fine with that. Though I'm fine with what happens next, I can't help but flinch as the other scientists lay their hands upon my body. A thousand hands touch me, but none hold me down. None pull me back. None push me forward. Instead, they brush against the surface of my skin. All of it. Oh, yes. Despite myself, a moan escapes my throat. Oh, there's a lot of words. We're gonna go with... Sense nope! Too slow! Rub, stroke... Oh no! This is getting... Uh... D whoa. Squirming. Grasp. I don't know. I don't... I think this is not safe for children's. Oh. I know it's a facade for the mechanism's static. Hard steel. Phrasing. Mind. We're gonna go with opening up. Mechanisms, facade, hard steel, flesh, static, what? Mind, static, facade, opening. I think I'm, I think we're in a, stuck in a loop. Hard steel. Are you, I, I'm freaking hard as steel reading this. All right, I think that's enough. All right. I think we were in a loop. 
butterscotch shenanigans. Now, this is this is why itchio randomizer is a thing. You can go from like hard steel scientists rubbing your body essentially to butterscotch shenanigans not available on Windows. What do you mean not available on Windows? How how is this not available on Windows? Open page in external web browser. What? That's not the page I'm on though. What do you mean? There's no way this is not available on Windows. I think I think sometimes if itch.io app doesn't, if something's not set up right, what? I think if something's not set up right for the itch.io app, sometimes it just says it's not available on Windows. A little game for release of the Construct Game Jam 4 with a few members of Incarnita on superpowers. Wait, what? No, hey, whoa, no, 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 I want to do the thing. No, let me play the thing. Okay, end echo of life. Why is it blinking? Is it supposed to be blinking? Hold on, let me refresh this. I think I might have screwed up. Oh no! No, go back. Okay. Do not be surprised if everything goes wrong. Maybe with superpowers. Okay, it is in fact supposed to blink incessantly. Good. Okay. Why was the music insanely quiet? I just had to raise my music insanely loud. Oh god. Oh, do you, do you, you know what I love is is not being able to see. I've often pondered that my ability to see is possibly the worst thing in existence. Do not touch the circle. The circle is murder. Oh, oh, good. I'm not sure how long this one's gonna last. This music is way more excited about this game than I am, frankly. Okay, go here. Alright. Press E to move to the next level. Alright, we got to the second level. So that's nice. Okay, the, the blinking is still happening. Best game mechanic. Can't see anything. I really enjoy that. What? Okay, that's enough of that one. Oh, we better turn the music way down. Cause that that game was extremely quiet for some reason. And over my daddy but and over my dead body, you play as Noel Brody, not related to Adrian Brody, a former scientist for the evil Megatoria Consolidated. Uh, after protesting the use of her work as a weapon, is suggested to it subjected to it herself. Now as a twice dead creature of the night, she must. Fight her way through the Mortigia Consolidated Headquarters to find a cure for his affliction, reclaim her experiment, and maybe even have time for a little revenge. That's, that sounds like my kind of thing. Uh, best, yes. Window display 2. Okay. Chat is very quiet today. How is everybody? You play any good games lately? For my dead body security. Select level. Okay. Security for your good interest. I am Zomb. Is this... I'm Ghost and Zomb. I'm double undead. Keep calm. Panic is prohibited. No panicking allowed in the chat. I'm Ghost and Zomb. This is... Amazing. So my ghost... Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Wait, does this work with controller? Oh, it, it does! Okay, cool. That'll be easier. So your body can, like... Spooky! Spooky! The revolt will not be televised. It, <laughs> Wilhelm scream! This is actually pretty cool. So like, I can go open the door and then spook him. Wait, but I need to get in. <laughs> Squish! Okay. I don't think I have any input. <laughs> These are very dangerous doors. I don't think Osho would be okay with these doors. Legend of Mana. Oh yeah, I've seen you. You've been playing that in uh, chat. I really like Legend of Mana. I think it's a bad rap, I guess. <laughs> I guess not necessarily a bad rap, but just kind of gets ignored, I guess, for being a really good game. 
Oh my gosh, okay. That's kind of intense. Oh, fucking. Oh my god. I really wish the doors would not murder you. Spooky. Wilhelm screaming only in my left ear. Or right ear, rather. Open the door. Oh, you say spook? Oh no, you son of a butt! Oof. Why is this in the first level? Why is this? In, this is like not particularly easy. Like, okay. Alright, so they stay spooked for a little bit. Structure is not the best to do whatever you want with the game. I mean. It's really only a problem if you want to see absolutely everything, which is really not required, but... Oh, come on! I was eating your face! This seems extremely unreasonably difficult for the first level. Like, you have like a one, like a less than a one second window to do this right. I think the sound is like Doppler effect relative to the ghost, not the zomb. Oh my god, I was way past the door! Okay, this is much too difficult, but this is a really neat idea that should at least have a checkpoint, but I mean, I think it is a game jam game or something. It's not complete, so... I don't think most people are even, like, aware of the complexity of Legend of Mana, though, so I don't really think that's why... Like, people just wish it were a game that it's- oh my- like, I, This is a really cool idea that I absolutely cannot play, because that is- Oh wait, let's just- Death is in the air- oh, no, I can't play the other levels, okay. This is way too difficult, and not in any kind of fun or skill-based way. It's a really short game where you are a seagull and you can jump and walk around. And that's what I'm talking about! This dreamy whales. Hi, what are you doing out there? I'm not really sure. This place looked cool, so I walked over here. Yes. While you're at it, could you help me out with something? Uh, what is it? Could you help me find my teddy bear so I can find it and fall asleep? I think I can do that. Hearts. One. This is- this- no, this- this is what I'm talking about. This is the gameplay of the year. Frickin- Breath of the Wild? More like Breath of this- this seagull. This is what I'm talking about. Oh. There we go. Freaking happy whales. Mr. Seagull Man. Hearts. Jumping. No walk animations. What more could you want? Could you want walk animations? No, you couldn't. How dare you even ask? Don't even ask. Do not. Can I stand on the water? These are some good collisions. I like these collisions. Can I stand on the cloud? No. That would be unrealistic. Obviously, you can't stand on the cloud. Oh, good. Okay. Please, let me jump. Gooby, please. Hey, James. Um, why... Okay, how do I get up? Okay, this is another no music game. I can't tell the difference between no music and just way too quiet music sometimes. Ah! Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Where is this teddy bear? No! Oh no. Oh, please. Oh, please, no. Oh, no! Please! I can just okay. All right, these are some amazing controls. Oh yes. Yeah, we're playing random games today. So oh no, please. Why? There's gonna be some good. There's gonna be some stupid. And I love me some stupid sometimes. So that's fine. Ah, 
sure do love colliding with things from the ceiling. Why can I not jump? Like, there's certain situations where you're clearly on the ground, but it does not flag you as not being, as being able to jump again. Ah, oh, please! Gooby, please! Oh, come on. Okay, this is my teddy bear, right? Like, this is the goal. The, the whole goal of the game. Get, get your teddy bear, you stupid! Okay. Do not get mad at the seagull, it's not his fault. You found the whale's teddy bear! You've collected 14 hearts out of 15. Great job, thanks for playing. Alright, best game so far. Ah, oh, it's another Unity web player! No! Oh wait, we can download this one. You are a wizard and ready to F things up! Okay, I have to play this one. W-A-S-D, hotkey. Activate wizard vision! Oh, this is gonna be the best game ever. Wizard vision. I'm ready for this. I'm a wizard and was installed. Computer is lagging, that's good. It's a good sign. I don't see the game. That's also a good sign. Where is... I don't see... I don't see a thing. Um... I don't think this is running. I think that was a lot. I'm a wizard. Um, I don't. I don't know if this is gonna actually work. Not a virus. Exe does not seem to be running. Yeah, this doesn't seem to work. It just eats a little bit of CPU and just does not does nothing. I wanted to see Wizard Vision. Come on, man. Show me them local files. I'm a wizard and... I'm a vampire and... And what? I'm a vampire and here's a hundred dollars? Yeah, this doesn't work. That was... that. that's to be expected, honestly. Things not working is completely... We've already had games that didn't work, actually. Numpad Numpty. Numpty sounds like some sort of, like, slur. Uh, numpad keys explode nodes which propel you up the screen. Get as high as you can and beat your high score in the game. I think I'm gonna pass on that one. Having a go at Smite. I'm not much of a, a MOBA. Kind of guy. Gardner takes breading games to a new level. Breading games? Is that is that a thing? Hold on, I have to see if that's a thing. Breading games. Showing results for breeding games. No, breading. I'm all about the breading. Okay, I'm pretty sh Breading games. Mafa.com. Play girl games online. There's always... There's always the girl games. Have you seen the things where, like, you have to... It's like Elsa... Frozen Elsa, like, doctor simulator, and you have to, like... Like, this is a whole genre of game where, where, like, Elsa has little, like... You have to, like, cut out her horrible teeth or, like... She has, like, a thousand, like, nails in her feet. Or she's pregnant. And, like, this is, like... This is this whole genre of, like, creepy Disney doctor games for made for little girls, allegedly? I don't... I don't understand. This is a beautiful loading graphic. It just fills me with confidence. I want to see something good. Red Tulip. I think that was supposed to be breeding, but but bread you bred plants, and also the soil required for those new plants is also breadable. This is the most breadable game of all time. Dirt. All right, so we've got a dirt, <laughs> lava. Yes. What? I can't buy lava. I'm gonna buy a red tulip. Beautiful. Amazing. Seventy dollars. I have seventy dollars, but why? Floating dirt. Oh, floating dirt. Now we're talking. What's this? Floating dirt. Mushroom. What? what? The hell is this? Oh, there's like secret combos. What the hell? Th this ultra secret combos. Okay, this is way too complicated. If you want to bread some plants, though, there you go. I'm going to have so much garbage installed after this stream. 
Robo Tea, Mistin Mini Cups. Why do none of these games have music? It's creeping me out. Mistin is a band formed from many Robo Tea game series. They're, what? Th their home is on the planet Velostar. What the hell is this? Major inspiration are animated shows. These mini cups are small sneak peeks into their lives. Please enjoy the mini games whenever they are released. Each game will ideally be about 10 minutes of gameplay with linear storyline. Okay. Mini Cup 1 is released. Why are the cups? Why are the Robo Tees? I have many questions. Come back for more small cups of Mistin. Ooh, ooh. I think that's how you pronounce that. And please enjoy the mini cups. Mini cups of dirt, perhaps? What the hell is this? Cute, calm, queer. Transitions, yes, no. Uh, oh no, it's a visual novel. The night before Music Fest, 59. This, this year, the music festival is going to be the neighboring planet, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Near the end of the show, I can't read all of this. The teens, they're happy teens, they're gonna see music. But then things happen, they're backstage. I'm just gonna make up my own story. The recording in memory from 20 years ago, they found a spooky ghost recording. Those are some memories. And then they were like, yay. They get comfy and knock out. And happy days with green plants. And then we have this creepy sex bed that is totally not, you know, a sex bed. Don't, don't be weirded out by my sex bed. Amazing accessories, check. Performance polish, check. Special scrubber, check. Does it feel we need something else? Just ignore the sex bed in the corner. It's not weird. So it looks like something from Quagmire's house. Okay, they're, they're, they're in the kitchen. Is this a bit loud? Things happen. Okay, I can't read all of this. There's a lot of things. I thought, I thought when it said mini games, it meant like. Mario party mini games. Uh, we found a magical. We found a magical girl pin. We'll wear it and then get a wish, and then one of us will die, and stuff will happen. We made a gift. We were what? It reminds you of shining head jewels. It's a reploid. It's got a red thing on its head. We made a reploid. Let's hope it doesn't go maverick. Consider that beaten. Yes. I, I can't read like 500 visual novels. What is this? Gravity Mage. A little prototype of an arcade style game made several years ago with love. Skiamaki edition uses art from Miu's webcomic. Music is Turtle Race with three exclamation points by Prime and Someone. Original clip art edition with better music from Kandal is currently missing. Clip art edition? I want the, I want the clip art edition. Where's the clip art? I need to play a clip art game. What what is this? Gravity like pull. I'm gonna have like 500 games to uninstall after this. Oh, bird and deer, or cow man. Okay, that's not creepy. Look at their eyes. The cow appears to have three eyes, so that's nice. Extremely non creepy. N n nom nom -ne. Okay, we've got anime boys again. Alexander Catcher, I bet. Name and Shun Shumizuku. Sniper for the Jurassic. I can edge you already. Keeps the facade small. The owner of a small booster. Dubbed ghost by the police and media. Distance elastic pull. So frick, pick your Bishonen and you get different magical gravity spells. Veteran agent for Warsaw. Warsaw's the best and most experience. Assign the mask with a three-eyed bull. Wild card agent for the Jasu. Vicious bloodlust against the Warsaw. Highly capable despite missing arm. Distance elastic pull. We're gonna be sad boy over on the left here. with these things, not the core. Okay, 
so it's like a defense game. Oh wait, no, you don't control them directly, you just kind of make an attractor. I see. That's actually kind of interesting. W which part of this is the anime boys, though? I don't understand that part. This is kind of hard. But interesting. I don't really have the time to get good at it, though. Oh, just let that one go crazy in the middle there. Oh, we're dead. Anyway, boy is dead. I'm sorry. All right. We're going rapid fire here. Push. Push is a Sokoban. Oh no. P like puzzle game inspired by Chips Challenge. Game is themed around toys, blocks, Seuss inspired rhymes, and illustration. I haven't played Sukuban in, in years. Demo itch win. Yes. You are a block seeking the flag, but along the way you will have to learn and master the laws of a totally foreign universe. Unable to search for updates. System cannot find. Well. What do you mean? I don't think it extracted properly. Push.exe. There we go. Overreact. That sounds like me. Mr. Fourth Dimension. Oh, you like those pixels? It's not really supposed to be this big. Press space to play. I use this thing called Borderless Gaming that lets me full screen window most games. The handbook. Overreact. There's a lot of umlaut O's I'm noticing while playing these games. I don't know what that. I don't know what's up with that. Lead designer and lead programmer Alan Webster, creative designer. Blah blah blah. Beta tester. Oh, welcome. Let's play. I'll show you wonderful things today about the toys, about the games, and the litter, little <coughs> little critters that also came. Look at those cute little critters in the top right. They look like they want to eat your spine out. The sky, the trees, even a bee. Oh, a bee! Oh, that's the best part. The world helps you, the world helps me. So sit back, enjoy the show, and I'll show you the things I know. Since everything deserves attention, you have to push in the right direction. Mystic runes explaining the controls for the game. Alt plus enter full screen. Oh, well, I use my own full screen thing, so... Oh, oh, crap. I did it again. The lesser known... Britney Spears song. Oh crap, I did it again. Left, right, or up and down is how you move around. The blocks we all move a turn. Game over. Blah. Yeah, just let me play the thing. What is this? I don't know. That's the point. We're just playing a bunch of random crap from Itch.io, basically. Why is... <laughs> oh, okay. So this is some sort of Sukuban style thing. So Sukuban is like a classic box puzzle pushing situation. Oh, dead. So we just gotta push stuff around. I guess it's kind of a classic, so to speak, but uh, simple blocky pushy thingy. I'm not sure how much longer I'll play it. I, I was told there would be a bee. Where where's the bee at? I see some dandelion things. But where's the B? The B is the real, the real MVP here. I need to see the B. What is? Okay. Yeah, if you've played like any number of video games, you've probably played mini games just like this. And it keeps your score, I guess. I'm not seeing this B. If there's no B, then not here. B I. That, that was meant to rhyme, but it totally didn't at all. All right, that's... I don't think there's actually any bees. I think I was lied to. But yeah, that was push. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Synesthetic is the best in playing with headphone on. It's not a traditionally passive game experience. Game attempts to stimulate synesthesia in, in the interest of confronting players the prison of their senses. Combining physiological concept with inward insert observation to highlight the fallibility of the senses. This project stemmed from an interest in phenomenology, neuroatypical experiences, body hackers, and transhumanism. 
Which is set expressions is different every time. Due to an intended glitch, to an unintended glitch exporting, to an interesting effect. Okay. If there, if there's no B, then I will not hear. I will not be. There you go. Glitch synesthesia. We're gonna, we're gonna play the glitch one. Sure. So get ready for some synesthesia, which is. An unpleasant word to have to say. I could probably just black out this whole thing on the right here, honestly. But then... Ah, never mind. Um, where's the game? Well, oh, don't be another one that doesn't work. Please. Oh, here we go. Made with Game Maker Studio. YoYoGames.com Right, get ready for some synesthesia. It's gonna be weird. Pfft, that's Darth Vader's breathing sound. You can't fool me. Okay. Can I full screen this? <laughs> so sometimes when you get a full screen game, um, it like stretches the window. I don't know why that is. Um. Is this it? Okay, let's, let's... Version. Let's try the non-glitch version. Uninstall now. That was not very... Synesthesiac.exe. Because that wasn't very... I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Come on now. Why does this take five years to open? Synesthesiac. Dun 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 dun. Okay, is this just a breathy thing? I was kind of expecting some kind of like walking sim thing that like is really weird, but eh. I think we can give that one a pass. It sounded interesting, but oh well. Whoa! I think I've played this. You like a ball, you do stuff. How do I force? What do you mean force? Oh. Why do I play it with this though? Why can't I? Oh, oh, I can play with arrow keys. Okay. Boil is barely a game and more of a tech demo with light interaction. Use the arrow keys. Okay, that's fine. We're kind of here for tech demos with barely interaction. This is pretty neat though, at least visually in the... I could do with some music. So many of these games don't have music and it weirds me out. But I can see where we're going with this. There's a lot of physics going on. I'm a big fan of physics, so... I'm okay with that. I like this look! For, for a tech demo, I'm, I'm okay with this. Oh. Is that, is that the end? No, it's not quite the end. Oh, well, maybe it is. My my ball looks like a creepy smiley face sometimes. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be out here. I think I'm... Yeah, I just left the universe. That's fine. Okay. That was boil. Or boil, uh, how, however you say that. That was kind of interesting. Containment kerfluffle. One to five player action cooperative experience. Humanity has continued to leak toxins into the wild, and a wild monster has arisen to rule the world. Xbox controller is required to play the game. Xbox controller will be the body of the monster while up to four friends can join in the mayhem on their mobile phones as the four tentacles? How the hell does this work? Link for the mobile players to join the game can be found here. On their phones do not need to be on the same network. 4G connection when joining. What? What is this? I have to see what this is. This makes no sense. I hope this has music. It's weirding me out to be... I, I, I feel like something is wrong when there's no music. Uh, let's just play. Made with Unity. Like I said, at least 50%. I would be amazed if less than 50% is going to be Unity. It's just... <laughs> nice, uh... 80s horror movie font. 
Hold on, the monsters are looking for the servers. Oh no, it's an online game. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'll give it like 10 more seconds. I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, it's not, okay. How many games have I installed at this point? Slide ball beta. Uh, we just saw a ball game. Ooh, now we're talking. Banish. Whoa, those are some pixels. Updated version of the Savannah Global Game Jam 2016 winner. Banish is a two-player versus game. Oh, no! Game is best played on a... Well, we can take a look. Banish updated build. I don't have a second player right now, but this looks really cool, so I'll at least take a peek. So is this supposed to be... Like, oh, wrong screen again. Is this supposed to be like, um, Nidhogg? Uh, oh, we have music finally. Dead. Oh, can you, you can kick them! and like sacrifice them on the altar over there or what's the deal? Oh, there's, there's a thing. How do we get this? Let me get the thing. Can't get the thing. Hmm. Controls. What are the controls? Attack one. Okay, dodge. Pick up throw H. I want to see if I can like throw the body. Yes. Excuse me. Why are you not being sacrificed? Right, maybe I have to bring him over here. It seems like it would be neat if I were, if I did in fact. All right. So it's like it's like a nidhog thing. Okay. That's neat, but obviously I can't play it properly. Find find a good game and it doesn't... I can't actually play it. Discord was made in under 10 days for the GB Jam. It was a very non-Game Boy palette, but I'll accept it. It's procedurally generated roguelike games like Mega Megasphere and Nuclear Throne. It includes infinite weapons and plenty of weapons. Or infinite levels and plenty of weapons. We've got infinite weapons, weapons... Plenty of weapons and some weapons. Upgrades and enemies. You can vote for the game on Game Jolt here. Let's take a peek at this. Man, y'all are slacking out in chat today. Let's see. Yeah, it does look pretty Game Boy ish, I guess. It looks more TI 83 ish, actually. I think there's TI-83, yeah, there's TI-83 emulators. I felt, there's some really cool stuff uh, on TI-83, actually. There's, there was this RPG I played once where it actually... Uh, the TI-83 is purely monochrome. It only has... Uh, colors only on or off. Um, but um, I think this is going to be another one that just doesn't... Well, why did these games perform so badly today? I guess they're all like Game Jam games and stuff, but... So I have a Quartzilla over here. Wait. Fix that. That's better. Okay. Does this work with gamepad, please? No? Reload. That is a lot of buttons. Okay. Those boxes in particular really remind me of the, uh, there's a Mario, obviously not official, but oh, I'm out of gun. What do you mean uh, I'm out of gun? Am I supposed to? Oh. Oh, you reload. I see. Okay. 
be. The TI-83 is like a monochrome calculator thing. And there's a few assembly games that actually alternate, like, um, they alternate turning pixels on. So it gives it four color grayscale, like a real Game Boy. And it, it works better than it sounds. It was pretty cool. Oh, submachine gun, okay. But there's actually some cool stuff that I should try to see if I can find. What is this? Don't you judge me. Why is this man judging me? I- how- how dare you? Okay, I need health. Do you have health? What- what is this? Is this art? Double jump. Oh. I don't think I actually bought that. This reminds me of Goner. I never got very far in that, but I'm not- I'm not a huge roguelike fan, frankly. Oh god. Whoa. Whoa. That's discombobulating. Oh, dead. Physics! You have died. <laughs> Those bullets. Ah! No, no. Stop that. Holy crap. Okay. That was Discord. That was kind of interesting. My Little Universe Alpha 2.0. So far, just a little game thing that generates planets and stars. Hurrah, I have an idea for this. This will be sort of a god game thing. No, those are not tested. They may not work. Oh. So it just shows you little stars. I don't think we need to see that one too much. Pistol Shea Alpha. An innovative top down shooter where you throw your gun, bounce it off walls, and fire it in midair. This mechanic creates a pseudo puzzle element where you have to redirect the pistol's movement by using walls and gunshots to massacre enemies. This will feature stark and dark aesthetics inspired by SimCity, Hotline Miami, and terrible B-movies. Currently, his plans for initial PC, Mac, for release releases in the hopes of eventual console things. Music and art assets are temporary until I get some more capable to redo them. Uh, sure, let's check that out. Oh, Sun made the... Uh... I would add a little outline to the itch.io or something, or just maybe give it a background. But yeah, it looks, that looks pretty good. I was just gonna come to think. Of, I don't really know what I would use for like the background, but yeah, that could work. Um, where'd it go? Oh, here. Yeah, this one seems interesting. Windowed, yes. Go away, Mr. Mouse. Does this not have controller controls? Oh, it does. Sort of. <laughs> I can't... Okay, so I... You have to aim with the mouse. How do I throw my gun? <laughs> I hit him in the face with my gun and he died. Best game. I love that my gun just... I don't need to actually shoot them, just my gun murders them. Beautiful. <laughs> so do I have infinite ammo or... I, I think I have a clip and... <clears throat> uh oh. So this is the dangerous part. Oh, dead! Why was I dead? What happened there? They shot my gun! Like, yeah, better shoot that gun! Mm -hmm. Oh, they, they damaged my gun! My Them shooting my gun is not entirely idiotic. They, they harm my, my poor gun. Pfft. This is amazing in an incredibly stupid sort of way. Or possibly stupid in an incredibly amazing sort of way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is actually pretty neat. Excuse me. <laughs> I murdered him with my gun. Just... Wow. Oops. 
it reloads every time it comes back to you. This is actually pretty neat. I shot myself! I don't know how that happened. I didn't click the sh fire button. <laughs> Beautiful. I like how the focus is always on your gun, not on you. Oh! What? I guess they instantly shoot you. Like, they take a while to decide to shoot the gun. But if they see you... You are, you are dead, my friend. I've heard you shooting yourself in the foot before, but that's ridiculous. Up, oh, dead. Up, oh, dead. Yeah, they, they're completely fast on the draw, but only if, oh. Oh, that's not good. Up, oh, dead. All right, the, the, the light is the line of sight. Okay, I'm... I'm kill. Yeah. Give. <laughs> like, they never, like, come after you or anything, but... Oh, dead. These guys are amazingly fast on the draw. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I did the same exact thing. Uh, that's not good. Up, dead. Okay. This level's hard. Alright. It's a bit more slowly. Um... Uh, that's gonna be a problem. I need it back. I need to get it back. Yes! Oh no! Gun! Gun, please! Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I can't move past him. Oh, my gun, please. I just need my gun. Oh, whoa. Oh, that was a restart button. Beautiful. Oh wait, hold up. Oh, that's bad. Okay. This one's actually pretty neat. Um, okay. Off! Oh, ah! <laughs> I love them, sh I love that they shoot the gun. That is, that is the best. Gun, come back, please. Gun, please. Oh, gun! Gun! Why have you forsaken- Oh, no! <laughs> Why did this suddenly go from, like, 0 to 567 difficulty? Like, absolute maximum difficulty forever. It wasn't actually intentional, but I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. I'm just gonna... <laughs> yes! I very nearly could have killed myself there. There we go. Gun get? Uh, how do I... Oh, here we go. Yeah, in terms of gameplay, this is definitely my favorite one from the uh, from the randomizer so far. I definitely like that mystery doggo game though. That was more of a narrative thing. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> this is amazing. All right, so what? Okay, there's a guy behind there, apparently. Boop! I... 
Who shot me? Oh, oh, that guy. Okay. This guy's just looking at this, like, bunch of barf and CDs on the floor. Aw, oh, crap. dumb in the best way ever. There we go. <laughs> I just love casually throwing the gun into them and they explode. It's the best. See, make, making a skilled shot is one thing, but just just casually tossing the gun and they explode is the best. <laughs> they shot his buddy in the face! Best. Best goons. Oh fuck. I make fun of them for shooting themselves and then I shoot myself in the face. Best. Karma. There we go. I also like how your gun has health for some reason. Like, they, they know. They know that your gun is the real threat. They understand everything. Oh god. Okay. Boop. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave without my gun. It's fine. Amazing. This music is dramatic. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh god, I did not mean to open both doors. Okay. The strangest game of billiards! Yes. Got him. Return to me, my, my sweet. <laughs> I would love to see this as like a full game, like... Like Mr. Shifty, but, but... Gun. Mr. Gunny. Oh, fuck. <laughs> They're shooting my gun! How dare they? Hello, friends. Um... Like how my gun somehow shot him after I died. The gun is its own character. It's it's not me that's shooting. It's it's gun. Gun is my best friend. My best and only friend in this world. Oh, dead. I like how you could just explode them by breaking the door too. Also, they have no right arms. They're just we're just these shapes. We're just shapes, just like a night in the woods. Boop. Oh, uh, is that the thumbnail you mean? Oops, that was dangerous. Psst. They have no sense of tracking. Boop. Aw, oh, fuck. <laughs> he shot! wall holy crap that is hardcore and also just completely saved my life oh yeah I had an outline yeah that should probably be good just, just hold on gotta <gasps> oh no oh you gotta be kidding me All right, I'm definitely killing these losers first You can kill yourself by breaking the wall into yourself. Alright. Ow. 
All right. still funny somehow. Oh god. That was extremely dangerous. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I really hope they make this into a full thing. This is this is pretty great. I almost shot myself. Amazing. I almost shot myself. Why are we just these weird ellipsoid beings? Like, we're not people. This is not a people. But oh well. I think it is like a game jam version or something. Some sort of demo. I honestly forget. We're going too rapid fire for me to have. For me to be following the, the lore of these games. There we go. Return to me, my child. Whoa! Okay, I was just about to go in that hallway. That is apparently not safe. Okay. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Beautiful. All right. <gasps> Fuck! Oh, you gotta be kidding. Man, that, that instant reaction time, if they're aiming at you though. It takes them like five seconds to line up a shot on your gun, but you, dead instantly. Oh, that's... Oh, that's bad. That's... That is unfortunate. Oh! I got my gun back, though. Um, beautiful. Alright. Shit. Okay. Um... That's not where you're supposed to be, Gunny. Gunny, please. Return! Return! Yes! Oh, gun. Oh, gun. Oh, no! My my sweet, beautiful child has been left... Ah, oh, crap. This one's a tricky one. Far gone. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Shoot it back to me. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. No? Whew. Okay. How is this guy, of all people, still alive? Beautiful, beautiful AI. I love it. Ah, oh, shit. Beautiful, my intelligence. Oh, shit. Please! Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. This level's freaking hard. 
Is this like the end of the demo or something? <laughs> Gentle tap with the gun. Explodes. Alright. Let's clear this mess up. Was stupid. I don't know what I was doing there. Dead. Wait, what am I doing? No, this is bad. Okay. Okay. All right. Explicitly attempting to avoid exposing that room. Shit, I think that's okay. Okay. Alright. I wanna get, clean this room out. If I can get this jerk. Alright, we're good. We're good. Need to get this guy. This will probably be my last level in this one, just to keep things going. Ah, oh, no. Oh, gun. Oh, gun, please. Gun. Shit. I need to go, like, the long way. Oh, no. I can't, I can't see my character. I can't, I have to blindly navigate. There should be a way to focus on my character. I can't see shit. Oh no, is there, is there a way to, to do this? Oh no. There we go! Oh my god. That was scary. Okay. Wait. Oh, I accidentally killed him. Okay. Alright. Level 4. How was this only level 4? That was... I cleared, I cleared more than 4 levels, right? Shit. <laughs> this AI is the best thing I've ever seen. I love it. <laughs> right, one, one more, one more. Oh, come on, you little. All right. <laughs> Not even the guy I meant to kill. Even, even when you're doing things on accident, you are extremely deadly in this game. Uh oh. No! <laughs> just casually shot my gun. For no reason. That gun did nothing to you, how dare you. Oh shit. I'm so glad these guys have like 10 degree Radii of vision. Oh god. Okay. I could have shot myself. Alright. Alright, that's that's enough of pist that pistol shay. That's that's stuff in my favorite one that we played so far. But we'll Oh, it's on Kickstarter? Is it like a currently run or? Oh. Funding cancelled. Oh no! That was hilarious though.
Oh, well. I hope they finally get to make it at some point, but yeah. That was a lot of fun. All right, let's get a few more in here. Uh, Windows browser. Yes. I like the cool stuff filter. Ooh! Oh, those are some pixels. I want this. This is what I was hoping. After a shower of snow falling through the night stop, the morning comes again. You are a girl out with a broom to clean up the snowy road. Please help strangers who need rest to reach this place safely along the way. However, we cannot be concentrating our job all the time. Unlike the girl, you do not need to keep watching this game. Do falling into thoughts while listening to the sounds of winter or forest or other works. So then come back when this job comes to your mind. Oh, so it's a thing that stays idle? Cabin in the snow. This is the sort of thing I was hoping to find. Weird little pixel things. Z, X. Oh, we've got some sweeping action. Nice. Post to the Discord. Yeah, that that that'll probably work best. This chat kind of disappears. The chat is very quiet tonight. It's okay to speak. I will not incinerate you for talking. I would talk more, but I'm like, you know, I have to my, I have to mentally change tracks every, you know, five minutes here. So that's kind of inhibiting my ability to talk things in. In. Why am I in? Okay. I think you're just supposed to, like, leave this over here. No, I can't leave it up. Let me shrink this up a bit. There you go. Put that there. Uh, simulator, simulator. Oh God, no. What is this? Whoa, what happened to the interface? Okay, there we go. Support this game, WASD. Not available on Windows, thank God. All right. What? What is this? So that is a first person point and click adventure. You're trapped with a mysterious girl in a labyrinth-like location full of rooms blocked by obstacles, challenges, and puzzles that bar your escape. Just in time for demo day. This is the previous demo. We are stuck in a room with anime lady. We must escape. We have to escape from the anime people. They'll eat our flesh. It's real. I've seen them do it. I know their lies. I know your lies. So does this... Hold on. I'm so slow. Can you go to town? No? Nobody is stopping by. Medio facade. Start from room three. Alpha build. Work in progress. Whoa. Beepy sounds. That beeping is extremely familiar. I've heard that before. I've heard it in my bones. Hello, anime. Please don't go crazy. No promises! No promises! This guy! This guy, he gets it. Oh, it's beautiful. Sakura Blossoms. Oh, it's Phoenix Wright. Yeah, you're right. It's, it is the Phoenix Wright. Text bleep. Hello. Henlo anime. Hello, you stinky anime. Go eat a segoy, ugly. The air is stale and there isn't even a slight breeze. The, the, the text sound is bugging me. All right, just want your opinion. Blah, blah, blah. Trick me. Don't do anything. Whoa. Use the WASD mouse key, click the might route to the cavalry mode, cursor mode, cursor might turn to a thing at this point of interest. The left button, do the thing. So we're in like dragon grandpa spooky thing. Like killing school, whatever face. I shouldn't wander off yet. I just, I, I want to go into the beautiful forest. Shut up, game man. This person is terrible. I just want to go see the things. There's a picture of a chicken over there. Excuse me. Whoa, I did not walk up to you. Oh, there's a lot of inertia. You have an extremely black shadow. That is disturbing, miss. Excuse me, hello. Whoop. Aw, oh, the thing isn't locked in. My favorite Unity bug returns. Best Unity bug all the time forever. I like this place, but I guess we can't stay here. Should look for this. Look for path. Then how about you let me actually 
Let me live my life. Holy crap, let me walk around. Why am I so slow? Oh, god damn it. It's... Okay, that's gonna be infuriating. Maybe I should just... Wait, menu. Oh, that is... Oh, that is... Oh, that is infuriating. I can't click the menu. Options. Can I put you in full screen? The options... Doesn't... Doesn't work. Where's my cursor even? Oh. Subtitles. What? Ah, oh, I'll try. I'll try and suffer through the stupid thing. I think it, I think if I didn't do the full screen thing, it might have. Let's see if I can un full screen. I can't. Oh, I can't believe that 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 Unity bug has been in for like eighteen billion years. All right, so yeah, it's like a zero escape sort of game. I think. You know, visual novel slash escape game sort of deal. Hello, anime. Oh, she's got hair physics! Yeah. Frickin' hair physics. Best physics after, you know, the other kind of physics. Um, what is this? We've got some spooky indents. Looks like a traffic light. We've got a thing! Oh, fuck. This is gonna drive me completely insane. There's a sign nailed to this tree. It reads, it clearly doesn't read anything, you liar. The current represents the first state. The device must be rotated opposite of the moon's orbit. Okay. I don't think we're... Excuse me? Why do you know about the moon's ro orbit? You, you... Oh, she doesn't. Why are you freaking mismemorize everything? Got it memorized. Hold on, I'm gonna do a spin. There we go, my mouse is now sort of more in sync. Why is there- there's a freaking smug face over here. Oh, wait, never mind, my, my mouse is still extremely not in sync. It's that stupid- it's that meme girl with the eye patch. Placeholder image? <laughs> Amazing. Thank- thank you for- for placeholdering. What is this? God, okay, I- I can't deal with this. What is this? Oh, it's a painting. It's supposed to be. I don't get it. It's too deep for you. We. I hate this. I never mind. I. This is the worst character ever. I hate him. Why are we in like the, the freaking hexagon dome? Is that a gun? Oh, it's a metal detector. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. What's this? It's a metal detector. Oh, I see. What does it do? It detects metal. Here, I'll show you. Huh? Not responding. Oh, this panel, take a look. It's missing a part. Okay, okay, we're, we're done with that one. I can't deal with Unity bug. I wasn't. I didn't want to solve puzzles today anyway. But yeah. Ooh. Small adventure platform game based on Wild West. Which yes. Uh, let's go for the Game Boy Res. Based in the Wild West, which I hope to include small mini games inside. Ran out of time. Unfortunately, I had to do another day. I'll still work on this after. Okay, so more GB Jam. Game Boy Jam is one of the more popular jams. So I lit a fire in my little thing here. I don't know. I don't I don't quite understand how this thing is supposed to work. I think you're supposed to leave it idle and like sleep up occasionally while you're working or something. It's like a, a mind cleanser more than a game. Uh, but let's play this one. Said, let's play this one. No. Western GB Western dot application. Yes, sure. Why? Why did I have to install it twice? Oh, that is tiny. Um. <laughs> sure. That works. All right. B. Oh wait, do you have button controls? Moo! Oh god, that is a terrifying cow. Moo! Choose. Moo! Moo! Oh, I can still move. Okay. So it's a little western thing. France earning a few bucks. You just don't let the law know. I hear the miners left us some gold. Maybe you could... Yeah, whatever. Do I have guns? I do not have guns. Out of there, partner! What's rootin' tootin'? Watch out for them coyotes and such. Say, you see my wife? Out of there, etc. 
I just love going to church. Okay. Why, why are you a spaceship? She's a spaceship. I think the white under her is supposed to be a dress, but she just looks like a floating spaceship. Oh, I got a jump button. Am I riding a cow or a horse? Like, this looks more cow-like than horse-like. Greeting, stranger. Fancy a badge. Bandits coming around these parts. Prove you're worth shooting and I'll make you my next deputy. Be to accept. Aw, oh, yes. How shoot? What? I don't think... Oh. Mouse? Mouse? I think I'm supposed to have a cursor. I don't think the cursor works with the full screen thing that I did. Maybe I should have downloaded the double res one. Pew 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 pew. Etc. Uh. Yeah, I can't find the cursor. Oh. Hold on. How do I reload? Ugh. Okay, so. Not you. Oh, it died. Let's try that. Oops. Let's try that again. Can I maybe just stretch the thing? Okay, this thing is not cooperating, so we're just going to kill it. We're just going to go on. Visually, I like it, but it sounds like it wasn't that finished anyway. Oh god, what the hell is this? I'm scared. I'm scared. Are you scared? You better be scared. All right, let's let's press start. Oh god. Oh no, it's the turbo tunnel! How dare you do this to me? The gameplay will be added later on today. It was never added. Okay, it's that's that's enough of that one. See you, Gemios. Dungeon tracks and charms in charms way. Fast paced twin stick dungeon crawler where you must play smooth blah blah blah. Wrongly arrested in a dungeon and seeking freedom. I'm not sure this is the sort of dungeon most people are locked into. Dungeon tracks, sure. These, those are some pixels. What? I'm a tank. I, I'm a. I'm a tank. They they arrested a tank. My gender is Panzer. This is the best game ever. My gender is Panzer. Yes. Strength. I want strength. Oh, disable shadows. Accept. Is it supposed to be? I guess it probably is supposed to be this this low res. Freaking. Is this? Is this not supposed to have sound? Oh well. I like how this looks though. Oh well, you can blow up the walls. Oh hell yeah. But 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 but, but why? Yeah, arresting a tank seems like a difficult task, honestly. Oh god. <laughs> what crimes did all of these tanks commit, frankly? I mean, are we to believe that all of these tanks are truly criminals? Or is there some sort of, you know, anti-tank agenda going on? Susie the level 1 panzer did not make it out of the dungeon. Rest in peace. Try again. Is there not supposed to be sound? I can't even change my my gender. My gender is just tank. We're gonna be Rudy the tank. This beautiful pixelation filter that just you know is don't make your own pixel font by applying a pixel filter to to a, a normal font. Please use an actual pixel font. Oh my god, why did you not die? Well, I'm slow. Level up. Open main menu. Oh. There we go. We have more stir. Whoa. Whew. Okay, that level up matters a lot. The, the, it, I'm creeped out without the music, frankly. Or without sound. This is so many without sound. Alright. Controls. Ah, that's enough. Cherry Jam 2017 Game Jam. Like I said, a lot of these are going to be Game Jam games. Ooh, Midnight Park. Run away in reality and escape to the Midnight Park, a place where everything is safe and friendly. That seems non-suspicious. Midnight Park is a surrealistic exploration game by wandering through a dreamlike park. Now this is what I was hoping to find more of. 
you know me, I'm actually a huge fan of the whole exploration game sort of deal. Um, there we go. All right, are, are we locked? All right, we are mouse locked, I think. Yes, no, we're mouse locked. Ooh. Oh, we have sound. It's a bit loud, actually. There we go. How's the audio balance now, by the way? Since you said something was a little bit... You move weird. Does this have a controller? Oh, it does! Oh, no, it doesn't. Unity just kind of has def some certain default controller support that it has. So sometimes you'll find games that seem like they have support, but they don't. Oh, there's a run button! Exploration games still need run buttons, by the way. That, or just make your walking speed pretty quick. Why is the music directional? You got some nice pixel plants. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Just a nice, chill, surreal place to walk around in. Why am I small? I'm exceedingly small. Whee! Slide. That's what I'm talking about. The stars aren't really that impressive, but oh well. Sounds good? That's good. I thought the tanks firing at you were guard tanks. Maybe. Oh, well, the trees are too deep. Okay, that makes sense. Mr. Catman! What's going on, Mr. Catman? How you are you, my friend? Oh, you're looking happy to- Why did you disappear, Mr. Catman? Why is there a big spooky dead tree over here, Mr. Catman? I see your eyes. I see your big spooky blinking eyes. What's going on here? I thought this was a happy place for happy friends to be happy in. I can't... There's a barrier of darkness and gloom that I can't surpass. And there's... Is this blood? That's just red... That's just leaves. That's just red leaves. Definitely. That's just definitely just red leaves. I think I'm stuck inside of the... It's the no-no zone, so to speak. Trees look like they're from paintings. Yeah, I like the art style. They've got a weird mix of angled trees and trees that are just straight on. Like, from whatever direction you're looking. Can't go that way. Why am I not allowed in the murder forest? I want to go to the murder forest! Come on! Oh, 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 oh! Am I through? Not quite. I'm still hitting a wall here. Hello, friend! You wanna be my friend? Hi, buddy. Oh. The invisible wall is just not completely perfectly lined up. Right, I guess you're not supposed to go over there. I'm not sure why the game would want to make you not go into the murder forest, but... Uh... Aww. Happy mom and kids and, and mouse and bunny and cat. And spooky dead ghosts! That's not creepy at all. Okay. What's this? Giant Legos. Giant untextured Legos. Whoa. What was that? It's a freaking speed bun! There's a freaking crazy speedy bunny over there. I feel like something horrible happened in this forest. Is this cutesy Slenderman? I kind of hope so. Those are just flowers. Oh, the summoning circle. It's like the circle thing from Proteus. If I take a, sit a seat right here, the seasons will change. I should probably do a video for Proteus. Oh. I see the ghost. It's it's Nanderpuss. You can call me Nanderpuss. Nanderpuss. Oh wait, it's not Nanderpuss. You're not Nanderpuss. Nanderpuss is my favorite Super Bowl commercial ever. Oh, he disappeared. There's a spooky mystery going on. Jinkies. Oh hey, there's a little a, a happy cabin over here. 
Oh, this is Speedy Chinchilla! They're going crazy over there. Aw, sad. Dead in a cave and and midnight. That's a, that's not weird. I'm sure there's nothing bad going on in this forest. It's a happy forest for happy friends. Happy tree friends, if you will. Just don't wander into the blackness. It's not going to let me wander into the blackness anyway. Just a happy place for happy friends. With happy red splatters all over the floor. For reasons. It's just a happy paint. Happy paint all over the floor. Oh, another ghost! Spooky ghost man. Is that the little girl? Oh, she's dead, isn't she? Yep. Hi. Oh, yep. Well, oh, bunny! Well, there's the moon. There's the real, actual moon. Creepy red kitty. This is what I was hoping to find more stuff like. I I, I was hoping to mi find more of these, honestly. I like this one. Spooky red kitty, what did you do? Oh, I'm stuck. I guess we should check all the buildings. I'm not sure, this probably doesn't have like an ending ending, but I guess you can just find out all the different things. I keep forgetting there's a jump button. It's not really necessary by any means, but um, it's there, which is nice. This is the cabin we spawned at. Oh, it's time. There's a lot of invisible geometry going on here. Something you can get. There weren't controls, were there? Use this famous made by Carl Powell. Spooky. Right, so I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't go in that one. Are there any other buildings I can go into? Also, we appear to be a child considering the scale of all the stuff around us. Maybe we are that little girl? Maybe we're the dead one all along? Legos. They tried to make one of those spinny things. Oh, I wonder if we can go up here. Oh man, this makes me want to go... Uh, this makes me want to climb a jungle, jungle gym thing again. Except I would probably be arrested if I went near one. There, need, there needs to be adult jungle gyms. For complete normal adults. Rest in peace. Susie, I guess I'll call you. Oh wait, there's some other pictures. This really makes me want to climb Jungle Gym and hopefully not be murdered by spooky ghosts in a forest. But you know. If that's what I gotta do to climb a Jungle Gym, I mean, maybe the spooky ghosts aren't that bad. Oh, there's a table or something over here. Little ghost with angel wings. A drawing of the ghost with angel wings. Spooky mouse. I'm guessing that we're seeing all the, the things that she drew. Oh, Mr. Snail Friend! Happy Snail Friend. How do you do, my man? It looks like a... It looks like a pastry, honestly. The shell. Mr. Mouse Friend, please. Yeah, those are definitely the characters that she drew. A lot of blood. Really love the feeling you get from the. It's very atmospheric, the music and the, the visuals. I think we found about all there is to find here, unfortunately. I don't think we can at any point go into the spooky zone. I think that's just really the edge of the world, really. There it 
focus on that. Yeah, I think that's about all there is to see here. I think that was the murder cabin we saw before. Mr. Catfriend, please save me, I'm dead. I don't want to be dead, Mr. Catfriend, please! Yep, yeah, that's, that's the murder cabin, okay. Huh. Yeah, it seems to be it. That was the Midnight Park. I like that one. I like it. I like it. Um, how do I... How do I add this to... Yeah, add collection. I have a collection called Cool Weird Games where I keep a bunch of... Well, cool weird games. Bathysphere. Tiny browser game about a spherical submersible and an assignment to chase down some unexplained radio transmissions. Uh, let's install that. No compatible. What do you mean? I'll just download it. No. Uh, open game external browser. Maybe I can just zoom in. No. Bathysphere. Yeah, I'm just gonna download this so it'll be easy to see. Um, excuse me? Never mind, I cannot download this. So weird. We're just gonna have to deal with extremely tiny. Wait, let me see. It's alt. Is it not alt? Shift? No, what is the thing? Control? No, what are you doing? I know you can do a thing in here in, in OBS where you... I could swear it was alt. Where you, uh, crop the thingy. Bath spheres are actually a real thing. They're primitive submersible. Why is my alt? Why is alt not working? Transform. Wait, I'm cropping the wrong thing. What is ah OBS? Please. It's still not letting me crop it. What is your deal? I can crop the other thing. I can't crop this image. Oh, whatever. We're, we're in a bathosphere. Tiny submersible. New Masonland Zoological or Transcript Log. We have no logs. Go underwater. Oh, keep going down. I can't believe I can't... I can't believe I can't give you a better view of this. This is ridiculous. Um, let me try this. Not that. Window capture, bathysphere. Itch. Hello? No, it's not letting me shrink this one either, and it's not even showing the damn image at all. Is this not working? What the hell? I don't I don't understand this at all. I, I I've I've been able to crop this before. It's alt plus cursor. That's what I'm doing. I'm clicking and dragging and it just It refuses to, to be cropped. I don't Oh wait, I I guess I could do this at least. That's that's the best I can do, unfortunately. I don't know why this is being so sucky, but it is being in fact very sucky. Ooh. Can we scan? What are my controls? 
Controlling your new bathysphere. WASD to move space to log incoming transmissions underwater and view your log above water. Instruments, compass, depth, oxygen, radio. Simon, investigate unencrypt log and content, if any. How do I un. How do I exit? How do I exit? No, please. Good luck. How, how do I leave? Oh. My oxygen is low. Up, oh, dead. Lost your oxygen meter. We're dead. Okay. Press enter to try again. Yeah, I think I was suffocating the whole time I was trying to fix the stupid viewport. Yeah, this is a little. I'm sorry. The scaling looks awful at this zoomed in, but I can't. It doesn't let me install it. Um, excuse me? Game? Okay. Game. Oh, you gotta tap it repeatedly. This reminds me of... Oh, there was a... There was another game, um... Ah, oh, crap. I don't remember what it's called. I did a video of it. It was a, another low-res, like, submersible sort of thing. Incoming. We got it. We got a transmission decoding. Are those fish or other subs? I think they're fish. Oh, we're at the bottom. Music very otherworldly. Alright, back up to the surface now. No dying. Let's attempt not to die. Transcript log. Mission control, I can't see anything. I need to go out there. I'm getting my suit on. Okay, got it. Inverter number two is on the high side of green. Green high side of green. exactly how to read these instruments. Particularly the one in the top right. Is it like a forward go thing? Top of green. Investigate and source. Double-check those controls. Radio receiver, oxygen depth. So I guess just watch to see if there's any radio stuff going on. Top right is just your logging machine. I think it does something if you're getting ah. I thought it would like indicate when you're getting a transmission, but no, that thing just pops down. Frida, can you read Kai? Kai? We can't hear you. So I assume we're uncovering a bit of a tragedy or something here. Oh, by the way, um, Halloween is approaching, and we're going to be doing more spooky streams. More like, you know, Yumi Nikki sort of stuff, you know. Horror-themed, but not like, you know, Dead Space or Killing Floor. Like, uh, more like surreal. You know, stuff like the last game, actually. That would have been a good one. Uh, there we go. Yes, more spooky streams. So any recommendations for stuff that's, like... 50% spooky, 50% surreal. Even stuff like, um, um, Space Funeral. Stuff like that, you know, just 
some themes, some notes of horror, um, but at least as much surrealism as horror. Stuff like, uh, oh crap, Will You Ever Return? That was a fantastic one for Halloween. Wait a minute. Oh, this is really slow. Commander Blood. Is that a thing? I'll try to get the Yumi Nikki fan games working as well, but those seem unpleasant to get working. I even still have the Japanese IME thing, or the Japanese language pack installed on my PC, and occasionally it switches my, my thing over to Japanese, and I don't know why. There must be some weird button combo that you can do that uh, gets it to switch. I really wish I could get more than one transmission per thing. What is that? Oh. <laughs> Rip. Ripperoni and pepperoni. Game Jolt has spooky games? Yeah, I think I have a couple saved. Yeah, somebody gave me some um, that I was saving for Halloween. Somebody sent me a few uh, Game Jolt games, so I'll, I'll be checking those out too. Um, yeah, it, feel free to send like either over Twitter or email me. Anything that's like Yumi Nikki-esque. I'm yelling as loud as I can, my helmet can't swim in this suit. I think we know what happened to Kai. I think we know. So I went to chase down some unexplained radio transmissions. Uh, made in two weeks for low res jam. See, so yeah, that explains the resolution. Low res jam has some interesting, uh, some interesting stuff. Even though it's a bit lower res than I would personally prefer, but I guess that's kind of the point. There was also, there was also some No Man's Sky sort of thing. Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh, that seems not good. Oh, dead. Yep, yeah, we got, we got an eight. Whatever killed Kai is. Am I supposed to do something, or are we just getting pulled under? I can see stars. That's right, Parker. Well, now we know what killed Kai, I guess. We're in space. Why are they in space? There's no reason for them to be in space. I can't even read the, the, the dialogue or the log thing. Oh. What is this? We have oxygen somehow. Oh. Transmission. Spooky transmission. Bathysphere. Then we were inside the helmet. Thanks for playing. Well, we finished at least a couple games then. Uh, let me reset this ridiculous transform. There we go. Uh, let me add that to my cool good games. Sure. Follow. All right. I think we'll do a couple more here. Whoa. Arnold and me. Graduation video game 2016. Arnold is a super powerful warrior tired of the kingdom. This is a student game? <laughs> Everyone looks like gorillas. Everyone's from Gears of War. Game design. Huh. He will pick self-imposed constraints to make his quest more exciting. It's freaking Gorilla McBuff arms. Is this, is this downloading? Stories untold? What's that? Untold. Haven't heard of that one. Anything basically like Yumi Nikki, I would be super into. Um, oh yeah, there's Mad Father. A few people have requested Mad Father, so I think I'll be playing that one. Stories untold. It looks kind of like the Stranger Things font. 
compilation of four experimental adventures, including a remaster of the original hit. I think this game is too big and not really the kind of weird thing I'm looking for anyway. Corgi Jam! Now now we're talking. Befuddled Corgi. Yes. Now this this It's not exactly like Yumi Nikki, but it had the spoop. Huh. I'll add it to my wish list, I guess, and see if I can take a look. I've wanted to include so much more into this game, but unfortunately I've run out of time. Oof. I think that's how you pronounce that. The game's concept and lore will be expanded on in the future if I ever find the time, and mobs and mechanics will be added. They're really fun and challenging experiences. My first game project that I completed, at least that, that I that could be considered as complete. Hold on. I think I'm still downloading. How do I see what's downloading? Can I order my downloads in in itch.io? I never have to mess with this library. I think that game is like hogging my thing. Oh, whatever. I just want to play Corgi Jam. Why is this taking so long? Uh, no. There you go. Yeah, that game was huge or something. That other game. Let's play Corgi Jam. This sounds fantastic. Adventures Befuddle the Corgi. Because it's running, but I don't see it. Oh, here we go. Game Maker Studio. Marugia Forest. I might regret this, but... Oh! <laughs> okay, that, that this is not a game that you can do that with. Um, let me try something here. ABC Marugia Forest. There we go. That's better. Okay. Marugia Forest. An archaic place where every entity is entwined. Adventures often come here, whether for exploration, loots, or otherworldly encounters. The 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 the, the 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 vertical spacing of these letters is driving me insane. However, sometimes adventurers' familiars may be unexplicably lured into the aura of Bagiria, and they find themselves lost. It is up to the mage fairers to safely guide the small companions through the through Megiria Forest. Okay. Hold up. Where did my Twitch... There it is. There's my Twitch thing. I lost hold of the thing. All right. Looks like Corgi is strayed from their master. I've set up a shield which will keep our small companion safe from the aura of Megiria and mobs. Okay. So we have to protect Corgi friend. Oh, there's no music again. It's to be expected, really, but oh. Oh, there's a double jump, and we're dead. That green line is not a blade of grass. It is a snack! Avoid the snack. Adventurers seek them for their saily skin and the magical orbs that the snack drop. This is a crawly spooter. Or see, I'm, I do not like them, but they're stabilizers of the forest. They're harmless, but don't get too close. I, I killed it, sorry. Oh, I want the snack. Yeah, the jump scare games make it really hard to find the good, the the, the genuine horror. In the, oh, a bone sword! Looks edible enough to feed it to Corgi. Press Q to take. Oh, we fed it to, to, to Corgo! We've got to find bones to feed them to Corgi. Okay. Oh no. So I guess it was a game jam game, which explains... You know, unfinished graphics. And sometimes it's fun to see. Oh, that spooter is freaking out. Um, it's fun to see what games are like when they like you know. They sort of end halfway in development. And you kind of see what games are like while they're being made. So you can see the, you know, the background art art was obviously intended to be polished up a bit more, like the enemy designs are. Oh, feed the Corgo. So it doesn't really look entirely much like a corgi, but... Tree blood! One of the main reasons why adventurers come here. Tree blood can be easily mistaken for a slime. This fluid is a good solvent for bringing potions and some elixirs. Oh, it hurts. I thought they were friends, but they are murder. Also, why is tree blood, like, blue? I guess it's just water. Why do the slimes hurt so much? 
Oh my god, he's huge. Why is he huge? He's massive. He's freaking swole. We've reached our destination. Time to send you off. I hope you find your friends, little one. Have a safe journey, tiny corgi. Pff, not so tiny anymore. Completed. Thank you. Well, that was Corgi Jam. Or Adventures Befuddled Corgi for the Corgi Jam. This is... There, there was a Corgi Jam? Oh, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. Hold on. It hurts. Remind me of the Chizo series. Oh, yeah, that would be a good one. The, the Chizo Mythos series or whatever the hell they call that. The Seven Days of Stranger and stuff. I'll have to... I'll, I'll, I'll add, that, add that to my list. How long are those games? What do you mean you can't... Whoa, really? You can't get those? The Trilby games or whatever? Fully emblematic. Trilby, the art of theft. So six days of sacrifice. Seven days of stranger. Trilby's notes. How do you... Click here to download six days of sacrifice. I think... I think these are still available. Oh. Well, one of them isn't. Trilby's notes. I don't know if that's the same one. Five days a stranger. Download fully emblematic special edition pack. Download. I found five days and six days. Seven days a skeptic. I'm not sure I found. Um, oh, where's the download? File download seven days dot zip. Acid play. This seems like a very safe website to download things from. All right, I think. I think I found the the Chozo Mythos series. Um, those those are the games by Yahtzee, right? <laughs> this is a good gif here at the bottom. But yeah, let's go uh, back to the randomizer. We'll do one or two more. I think I'm running low on Steam, but oh, okay. It has four games total. Oh, so Trilby's Notes is included. Um, Trilby's Notes, the third game in the John Defoe series, eventually quadrilogy explains the storyline. Okay, so I'll get Trilby's Notes. Click here to download Trilby's Notes. Wow, these are tiny. 2.4 megabytes. Who is the tall man? Am I really seeing this? Light and Dark World. Okay, so I think... Do you know how long those are? Because I'll try to... F I'll fit those in for sure, but I just don't know if those are like... All th like four games will make one stream, or one stream per game. Or multiple streams per game? I don't know. Follow the stairs to escape. It's five. Alright, so I've got all of those downloaded. But don't get caught. Oh, dead. Strange. Oh, I see how this goes. Okay. I think they're about two hours each. Alright, so that would be like... One to two games per stream, I should be able to do. Esther likes shiny things. The shiny thing will kill me, though. Back when I played them, I didn't take... Ah. Uh. Yeah, I don't tend to note how long things take either myself, but... I can't get the shiny thing, Astro or Astar. You'll you'll die. Silent Hillish. Yeah, I saw. I want to say I think deceased crab play uh, at least one of them. But yeah, I, I'm definitely interested in those. I don't like these murder friends. Og. This music is driving me insane. I think it's played all of them. I haven't seen the C-Scribe stuff in a long time. I should catch up on with his channel. 
I saw him on like a un completely unrelated like Steam forum post the other day. And people were like, oh, is, is that the real you? I was like, yep. Like, turn-based walking. Right, that's enough of that one. Uh, Wasteland Angel, what the hell? That's a paid one. Discover India, what the f- What? What?! <laughs> a 3D game developed to ease the burdens of learning the different features of a vast country like India. This is what India is like. This is a real- Okay, I- Oh, it's paid only. <laughs> what? This is what India is really like. Just driving on ice in a, like, Mercedes taxi. <laughs> what? Okay. DC, yeah, DC's Crab, I think, was the first time I heard about that, too. Anti-stress anti game. Feel frustrated? Feel like Your life feels like a trash? With this game, you'll realize your life is a piece of cake. It's all about elevators. Time management game with an emphasis on management. Fun, addictive, yet simply not easy. What? Elevators? So it's 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 Sim Tower. Does not have Rhino. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that video too. That was amazing. This is a video going around of this Rhino chasing down cars in India. And people are just like, yeah, freaking dang Rhino again. And everyone's doing like three point turns to like turn around and get get away from the damn thing. Threats. Oh, Windows Defender doesn't like this one. This doesn't seem super interesting anyway. Make it juicy. Lone bot. Oh. It's just a Space Invaders clone. I don't even shoot. This game demonstrates how to implement juice into your game without changing any of the gameplay mechanics. Juice controls one to increase stage, two to decrease stage. What do you mean? What do you mean one? Oh, all right. Let's add some juice. Oh, we we added enough juice to actually see a difference. <laughs> Oh, I see how it goes. So juice is this concept of like, um, I think they, there's, there's grease and there's juice. So grease is like keeping things in the game running smoothly. And juice is like flair. And so the, the, the point of this game is that you can add a lot of juice without mechanically changing your game. So it's all the noises and the like fancy crap. What's maximum juice? So the screen shape, it, screen shake is a common example of juice, and I'm, I think it's pretty over done. I think, I think we we're already at max juice a long time ago. It doesn't want to handle this much juice. M to go to the last stage. Oh yeah, 24 was the last stage of juice. Okay. Intro, default shape, ship, fly, into scene. Oh, so it's a neat little tutorial. Of course, screen shake, impact particle. And change the size of to speed. So it's a cute, that's a neat little tutorial. That's, I like that. Whoa, what? Quattro loses from the Portuguese. Yeah, my throat's starting to get a little scratchy, so I think this will probably be our last one. The game starts, you only have access to a white blank world. So as you proceed, collecting wisps and spirit, new light cores become available, allowing you to visit red, green, and blue worlds. Alternate the world. Play the demo. Oh no, Dropbox. Eh. We'll see if we can find- Ooh! Oh. Oh, the floor is lava. I thought- I like- I saw those colors, and I thought this would be something weird. Let's, let's find something more weird, shall we? We've played enough of the, the, the prototypes and so on. So let's find... Let me find a nice weird walking sim to end off with. Endless runner, cute flying rabbit. No. 
No. No. I was hoping there'd be more weird stuff. Omnitron. Break your father's lab and mess with his creations. Program Omnitron to release destruction upon the city. Okay. O okay, this seems... This seems okay enough. Panster's World of Horror. I'll check that out. A downloadable game for Windows. Absolutely zero. Oh, there we go. 1990 X. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry, Parker's talking to me. Oh, I think I heard about this one. Pressing at home. Yeah, I'll add that to my list. I need to I need to make like a, a Halloween Halloween collection. Private collection. But yeah, anything particularly like Yumi Nikki, I would love more games like that. That was that was the perfect Halloween game. In fact, we're probably gonna replay Yumi Nikki because that was perfect. And it's some and we'll provide some context for some fan games that I might uh, play calling me a worthless little runt i'll show him oh you got voices wow dad some mad scientist you are i guess your best caper was stealing library books mad si real mad scientists totally don't read oh my god oh they are library books huh? wait what Oh my god, this HDR effect is completely I'll give insane. You all the knowledge you need. Read, you automaton. Ah, some good quality human. What the? Yeah, go to space. I don't think I was supposed to launch him yet, but it's fine. He's, he's going. This HDR is out of control. Calm down. It also feels like reversed. Posing in the park. Giant robot poses for the cameras in Central Park. Is it art? All right, we did Call not. Call me a worthless little run. Shut up. I'll um, show him. We have to learn Hello, how to. Dad. Some mad scientist you are. Scan book into Omnitron. The first books? laser. Henry Bequirl. Spectral chimes. Second law of thermodynamics. No, we don't need... No. Discovery. No, shut up, robot. I'm trying to talk here. Mental of the periodic I'll table. I'll give you all the knowledge you need. Read, you automaton. Oh, quality voices. Uh, periodic table. Second law of thermodynamics. Hydrodynamics. Aerodynamics. Life of Mary Curie. Okay, quantum mechanics. Parker, what are you doing? Optical plumbing? Discovery of oxygen. Yes, nuclear physics. Aeronautical. What are you doing? He just pissed at something. It's really rare to hear Parker hiss, so it's like weird. Uh, so you have to teach you have to teach a robot classic <laughs> classic jokes. Yes, humor. <laughs> We're gonna give him some jokes. Hydrodynamics. Optical pumping. Newtonian physics. Newtonian physics. Alright. Kill killing the world is too much trouble, so... We're just gonna give him some jokes. Alchemy, yes. Time to relax, yes. Forever plaid. Relaxing. Pl 
lad. All I see is lad. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Thanks. Nuclear fit. Oh. Yeah, let's give him some nuclear physics. Time to relax. Experiments in aerodynamics, discovery of oxygen. So you Sisyphus! Yes. Good luck with your <laughs> Thanks. Study of logical paradox. Oh, that seems like a good thing to shunt a robot. <laughs> nice try! <laughs> Project, yes. Aw, oh, come on. Descartes. More humor of the future. Discovery of oxygen, second law. Modern aviation, right, brothers? Sure. Quantum mechanic, sure. Dream Viages was a my terrible platforming. The first laser uh, project, quantum theory. Oh wait, quantum theory of radiation. Here you go, my friend. Oh come on. Here's some natural philosophy. Horology, isn't that like birds or something? Henry Barkwell, don't know what that one is. In the mind of Leonardo da Vinci, very good. It's a 2D platform, but there's spoof. Eight lectures, blah blah blah. Don't know what that is. Treaty on the heavens, yes, I have some philosophy. Electrochemistry, sure. Let's just launch. He's got some humor, so that's obviously he's gonna do things now. This HDR is, like I said, just, just tremendous. Is it safe to sit this close? Launching robots. That's yeah, fine. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Oh well, that was Omnitron, and I did not want to f do puzzles right now. Country Tales. Let's see if I can find another good walking sound here, quick. It, what? An educational 2D space shooter. Like, usually when, you know, using the itch.io randomizer, you'd be a bit... <laughs> Look at the amount of abs on this man. Amazing. Nice dudes. Congrats on your promotion to manager of the Nice Dudes Modeling Agency. This man has like 12 abs. Right, let this, let me, let, wait for this to cycle. Oh, he has less abs now. It, look, look at this. Oh, I guess that's supposed to be 6, but it looks like about 12. A 12 pack. I think that's enough games for one day. Playing lots of different games is surprisingly draining on the brain meats. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was fun. Have you heard of Uncanny Valley by Cowardly Creations? Um, no. Let me search for that real quick. Uncanny. Oh, I should probably. Cowardly Creations. Uncanny Valley on Steam. Well, those are pixels, all right. Uncanny Valley is a survival horror that makes exploration puzzles help me a bit of action. Optimal story content. Well, visually it looks interesting. Uh, oh, it's already in my Steam library. Huh. <laughs> That's convenient. Um, let me add that. Uncanny Valley. Let me just add that to... I'll just add that to favorites, I guess. I also... Uh, what's that game where you... The, like, the lake... Rusty Lake Hotel... No, that's not it. What's that game? 
what's that game where you're like a, a slasher? You basically the slasher. Ah, oh, frick! It's like this pixel art game where there's um, damn it, something like Lake. Lakeview Cabin, that's it. Lakeview Cabin, it's like this um, horror game where you try to run from the slasher, like, movie antagonist. It's incredibly difficult, and I don't know if streaming it would be, like, I would be terrible trying to play it. Because I tried to play it before and just died a thousand times. But uh, <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Bleed off. What's bleed off? First person survival horror title where this player stars a fictional VHS horror movie set in an ominous oil rig. So find a dangerous shipwreck. Sure, I'll add that to the Halloween collection, I guess. VHS aesthetic horror. Huh. Oh, this is for a seven day FPS design students for the three hours. Oh wait, oh, that's not, no, it's three month development cycle, okay. I thought that was like the six day FPS thing. Yeah, I might check that one out. Only looked at it just because of VHS. Uh, hmm. I could still potentially check it out. But I was hoping for more Yumi Nikki style stuff, but uh, I'll do my own research uh, later on and uh, we'll see what we come up with. Thanks for watching everybody. That was fun. I think my favorite games were that walking sim in the, in the spooky forest, that stupid gun throwy thing, and uh, the mystery ghost doggo thing was okay. I was hoping for more weird stuff, but uh, you never know what you're going to get, and that's kind of the point, I guess. Yeah, see everybody later.